Um, okay, so let's get started. I think the only thing um, we just wanted to debrief, recap any anything that anyone wants to share or um, thoughts about the process going forward. Um, that's all we're here for. So I'll just open it up. I don't see anybody's hands going up. Uh, Adam? I thought that went very well. I think uh, Javier, you and Kathy did a very good job walking through everything and the slides were, you know, some of the clearest and your narrative through them were, were very succinct and it seemed like that helped um, a great deal. Don't know what the impact is, of course, but I just thought you did an excellent job. So thank you. And I thought the questions that we received um, were, were good and, you know, warranted within bounds and it was productive conversation. It doesn't look like um, Yusuf joined us, but I was going to thank him for his comments at the end there. I thought that was really, really impactful yeah. for the council to hear. Emily? Um, I was going to thank him, and I also wanted to thank you, Anna, because I think that your sort of framing um, at the um, right before Yusuf spoke was also super, um, super productive and helpful. So. Good, good. I'm glad. Thanks, Emily. Yes, I agree on both those counts, and also just thinking of the question that was asked to clarify in terms of um, using uh, uh, both the investments and our the new investments and our federal funds what are one-time costs and what are ongoing costs, I think that actually will be a, a very helpful exercise to help um, illustrate why we need to use the federal funding um, in the way that we're using it um, and how we can't carry on. We can't achieve um, all of the, the equity investments that we're trying to achieve with federal funding for the, uh, for the most part in terms of um, ongoing, uh, supporting ongoing positions. I agree. I also think the, um, the presentation on the, um, revaluation impact went really well. I think, you know, we had kind of talked about in our last joint or, or our our own last finance committee meeting, how, you know, that was kind of like pretty crucial information to show, you know, it's not, it, it or it may not be this huge, you know, impact that, that everybody's so afraid of um, and just how to illustrate that. And I think we, we did a good job with that. I think um, at least my read from the council was they, that seemed to click. Um, I will say um, that you know, the feedback that we got from the um, from the board from the finance committee at the last meeting was super helpful in terms of you know just knowing that we were on the right track and then trying to figure out how to um, how to lay that out in a, in a way that made sense and Kathy did a terrific job of sort of building out what the actual numbers look like and um, <clears throat> Gavin the newest member of our team really helped us to um, to visualize that in a productive way. So it was very much a team effort. I just keep losing connectivity. I'm so sorry. I just, <laughs> I just keep, I just keep lo losing it. Sorry. But that, yeah, that's, it's very helpful. And I, I think I ran it by the assessor, just the, the little house slide to just make sure that you know, the city was on board with what we were presenting and they, he, he, he didn't have any issues with it. So that was, that was comforting, I guess. Yeah, that's good because we did get that question. <laughs> yeah, I mean, once again, I think we, we didn't, you know, we, we got some, some questions that raised concern about affordability, but we got a lot of comments about you know, that, that align with our um, assessment that there is a need. Um, and we didn't get a sort of directive to, 
you know, make reductions already. So I, I think it was just a generally very positive. I feel like we're still in a good place and we just keep plugging along with the process. So this is new for me. Is this where they would have made recommendations if they were going to, or will that we still have time for? Well, you know, it's kind of worked differently, different years, depending on just um, who's been involved and how we've kind of decided to do it. Um, there have been years when the council actually met in workshop before we even started our budget process okay. and gave us like a formal direction on, you know, what the overall tax rate increase should be. Um, and there have been years where they've tried to do that and it, it didn't quite come out so clearly. Um, okay. So, uh, so yeah, we, this year we didn't really have any conversations about whether that was going to happen it didn't happen. And I think we kind of set our own process in terms of let's just build the budget that we think we need um, and follow the process through. And it seems to me that the council, I don't know that they are uh, clear on where they're going to land um, as sometimes they are um, earlier in the process. So I think that they still need to sort that out. That's my thoughts. Mm -hmm. So now we do have hands raised. Aura, then Emily. Uh, now it's just Aura. And I didn't raise my hand, so I'm going to mute. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thanks, Anna. Um, yeah, I just wanted to make the observation just in this being my first, you know, process of the budget on the board and more thinking of observing it as, you know, a community member and parent in the past. I just, I was struck um by the alignment of messaging. I know people have said that already, but just with Anna, you being so clear, I mean, and Javier and um, Kathy's presentation being so clear, but then really just your message being so clear about th these these are the priorities, like just just period, right? Like that that I thought was, w w and, and then Yusuf's, um, you know, really concrete example of the impact in people. So I just, I just felt like all of those pieces together, like that's how, I think we can impact decision, you know, the decision makers that d aren't making the specific decisions, but are making the financial decisions. So I guess just that um, that alignment, I thought, was just really wonderful. And, and I don't think that I've seen that feel that way in just my outside observing in the past. So I just wanted to, um, yeah, just commend everybody for that. Thank you. I'm glad that it went that way. I think it was kind of spontaneous. I, I didn't know that, you know, Yusuf was going to make that statement. And I think, you know, I mean, Yusuf um, is a great example of how having a diverse board can help us all towards um, these goals. You know, I, I don't think it would have, those words would have the same impact coming out of my mouth, <laughs> you know? Um, so I really, really appreciated him. Takes a lot of gumption too, as a new board member to go into a joint finance committee meeting like that. And make that kind of statement so Emily thank you um yeah I um it's good to debrief I don't think we have much more much else more to do tonight right we're on we're on the right track um we um know that this is the budget that um we feel very confident in moving forward um, and um, tonight's meeting didn't change that in any way, um, maybe help to reinforce it. So um, I feel really good about where we're headed going into um, our second read and vote on Tuesday. Um, I did want us to just, um, before we break, just um, uh, talk about the, the changes in the budget based on the new information we have you know, an analysis of that. And so we're ready to talk about it, but we, we didn't have a chance to change all of the other pieces. And so we decided not to, um, not to sort of um, uh, use it because then it would have thrown off the analysis on what is the baseline and what is the investments and all of that stuff. We just didn't have a chance to finish all of that. But um, Kathy, can you just quickly give people a thumbnail of where, where we are? Sure. So um, we, we, we're in the process of putting together kind of a like a school board preliminary budget book 
so that there's a difference between what the finance committee has brought forward and, and some of these changes. So um, we, we learned that our health insurance premium is staying constant and we had projected a 6% increase. So that's a $661,000 um, reduction in expenditures. And so that, um, and there was one other small change, the, the CTE allocation that we get from the state went up about 90,000. So we incorporated both of those changes into um, the budget projections and came up with a tax rate increase of 5.51 instead of 6.29. And uh, the tax rate would go up 64 cents instead of, I think it was 74 cents. So um, that's kind of the, the bottom line. Kathy, can you repeat those summary numbers again? Yes. It was 5.51. 5.51% increase in the tax rate as opposed to the 6.29%. And that would be, that represents a 64 cent um, tax rate increase as opposed to the 74 cent one that was in the finance committee, the original. And, and can I share a screen real quick? And because we have a-, a We have a little slide, yeah. Wasn't sure where that slide. Can you see? There that? we go. Yeah, that's a little easier to see. So it's a 4.4% increase in the budget, other um, compared to the the 5% increase expenditure increase that we had talked about earlier. So we went from. 125.8 million to the to 125.2. That's the 600,000 so or so. And we went from 5% to 4.4 on the increase over FY21 and we went from 6.29% tax rate school tax rate increase to 5.51%. That's, that's what it was. Yeah. So I just wanted to make sure that you had that um, and, you know, we'll obviously change everything, you know, um, for the board meeting on Tuesday and we'll review this, you know, and the impact across the board, but um, we just figured that it was helpful for you to have that today as well. Great. That's good news. So yeah, I, unless there is any other last thoughts, I think um, I think that's pretty much it. And we'll just continue and we'll reconvene on Tuesday for the board meeting. Okay. Uh, is there a motion to adjourn? Roberto, seconded by Adam. All those in favor? It's unanimous. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Superintendent Kathy and um, the whole team. Really appreciate um, all of your work. It was so evident. All of the work was so evident tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Good night. Good night.